This is a great savoury recipe which can accompany any type of meat like from fish to lamb or anything you kind of like eating it with or you can just have it plain and simple cauliflower rice. Okay, so what I've got is a load of cauliflower just chopped off the head so the stems are all off of it and we're going to put it into a blender in just a minute and blend it down to a rice consistency. I have some red onion, a little bit of broccoli, some garlic, cinnamon and some cumin and we are going to put that all together in just a bit. Some chickpeas which I've soaked overnight but you can use canned ones, they're absolutely fine. So it's a really good little bit of extra carbohydrates but having it within um, the chickpea is a lot better than having something like a starchy jacket potato. Um, we have some cashew nuts and some raisins, great source of fat and the raisins are a great source of energy as well. So first off, we need to make our cauliflower rice. So I'm going to add it in parts into my smoothie maker. Um, it is better to have um, a food processor because you can uh, make it a little bit faster. But for today, we'll do it in the smoothie maker. So we'll just do it in parts. Okay, so that's part of our cauliflower rice. As you can see, I've just put it down to a rice consistency. So however sort of chunky you like your rice or fine you like your rice. You can make it even finer and also make it down all into a um, couscous sort of consistency. So whatever you're after, you can do anything really with cauliflower. So once you've created your cauliflower rice, you want to just put it to the side and grab your red onion, broccoli, garlic, or whatever you're shoving in with your cauliflower rice as well. So we're gonna take it over to the pan. Again, there's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of coconut oil in there, which is loads better than normal olive oil or things like that. Okay, so just popping them into the pan. We're gonna leave the um, cinnamon just to the side for now and the cumin and let them sizzle away. Make sure that garlic doesn't burn, so just keep on tossing the pan, shaking it about. Filling through, we'll keep them in and we're just going to add in our cauliflower rice. And we're going to shake that all through. Now cauliflower rice is such a good idea for people who are intolerant to rice. So this is a way that they can uh, still enjoy things like Moroccan couscous without the uh, you know, intolerances. And actually at my local curry house they actually do make cauliflower rice. So you could always ask just in case you go out for a curry one time. Okay, keep on that sizzling through. So it doesn't take long for the cauliflower rice to cook, unlike normal rice, which takes about 15 minutes. So you want to keep on just adding all the ingredients slowly but surely. Just make sure it doesn't get overdone. So now we're going to add in the cumin and the cinnamon as well, along with the chickpeas. Keep on stirring it through. And take my cashews and raisins over there so they're ready. Mix it through. You don't want it to become too soggy, so you can take it off the side because the heat will keep on cooking through. I'm going to add in some of the raisins, some of the cashews, and pop it to the side. Okay, so there we have our delicious cauliflower rice. Now, this probably serves about three people, depending on how big your appetite is. Um, and it's a really low calorie recipe. Per portion, it's approximately 200 calories. And if you want to try and avoid eating too many calories, you can just take out the cashew nuts. When you've tried this, don't forget to add your thoughts and comments below. And let me know what you do with your cauliflower rice. Yum. <laughs> Let me know if you try it by adding your comments just below. So we'll try a balancing posture. 
called Vriksasana, also known as tree. So we'll begin by rooting down the left foot so that it is nice and sturdy and stable, spreading the fingers of the toes wide. 